my amazing husband, Uchuku. Your name means the glory of God, and it's evident that God gave me his glory with you. The greatest man I've ever known, best decision I've ever made. You are answered prayers personified. You are a gift. You are truly glorious. I'll start with your kind heart, your thoughtfulness, your selflessness. What a man. I'll talk about your body, your strength, and your stamp. You are very satisfied. I'll talk about your wit, your knowledge, your extreme passion towards work. A whole executive, or the true executive of my entire heart. God entrusted me with you and vice versa. So, from this day forward, you have me wholeheartedly. My love is yours for you to enjoy, my body yours to protect, my mind yours to rub. My love for you knows no bounds. And before God, who I fear the most, I honor our love and I submit to you. I submit us to him. He's the author of this union, and he alone will protect this love as he is love. People judge a book by its cover, but how do you hate what you have read? I have read the contents of this book, and my heart is now your library, and only mine to read. You, my darling, are the ultimate, so generous. You are patient. You are the Corinthians 30 definition of love. Thank you for being my bro bro. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for listening with your ears. Inside joke. The God of Isaiah 35 is your portion. As the head of our home, you will command nations. Nations that you do not know of will serve you. And people unknown will come to obey you because Jesus is our soul. A great dad to both me and our baby Zoe. My Odobo Silence. You came into my life and you silenced all the noise. You made it easier to listen and focus. I bless God for the experiences that have shaped your life. Painful as they may have been, they have prepared you for me. You are amazing and thank you for the past year. I'm in awe of the man you are. The most intellectually sound man I know. I admire your ability to stay calm no matter what life throws at you. You change, you remain firm. Thank you for praying for me every night. Who does that? Thank you for covering me with God's love. The Bible says, for where our treasure is, that's where our heart lies. You are my treasure, and my heart lies with you. Meeting you has made me realize that God had the best plan for me after all. He did. Everyone knows I love family and I love home. Now more than ever, I see you are my home, my peace, my best friend. And today, my husband, before everyone, I want to say I truly love you. Obi, DK, Odogu Silas, Omego, Agumoki. Today, as I said before, 
point, I am filled with the profound sense of gratitude and joy. I vow to cherish and honor you, not just as my partner, but as my best friend and confidant. I promise to always listen to you, to support you, and to be there for you in times of joy and sorrow. I will celebrate your victories and I will comfort you in your losses. I will stand by your side no matter what challenges life may bring our way. I vow to love you with a love that grows deeper with each passing day, to respect you for who you are, and to nurture our relationship with trust and understanding. I will strive to bring out the best in you as you do for me. I promise to be patient. I'll be kind. to communicate openly and honestly and to build a life together filled with laughter. My joy filled with adventure and endless possibilities. Today, I choose you to be my partner in life, my love, and my forever. With all that I am and all that I will be, This is my song about you now and always with you. I love you so much. Maybe, I don't know, joy, pain, or whatever, and you have formed a sisterhood with me that can never ever be broken. I'm so early to cry, Sharon. I don't want to cry. Don't want to cry. This opportunity to enjoy this day with me is everything I've looked for. The gifts that I curated in these boxes are from my heart. I know. And I hope that you enjoy what I made because I specifically packed them. I have handwritten notes that I wrote myself. 
Bibles I sign myself. Because the only thing that would ever connect all of us is God. Because yeah. God is love. So I pray that everything in these boxes edify your life. Amen. It edifies your mind. Amen. It's solid in Christ. Amen. The Bible says that he will console us with love. It's in yeah. Titus chapter 2. And I pray that my love for you will always abound. <laughs>